Hi to everyone. Today's video is going to be about the translation of one of my last videos called how to deploy a React Docker image from a private repository in GitLab registry to the Amazon Elastic Container Service. So here we go. Uh, first of all, you need to know that this application was created using the command create react app. And for generating the Docker image, we use that command, docker build. And that command executes the code that is in Docker file. Well, once the Docker image is generated, we publish it into the project, in this project using this, this command, docker push registry GitLab. So you can see that it's already there. Something that is really important is that if you want to use Docker image, you have to test it first in your local. And for that, you have to execute docker run detach. And you can see that it is working locally. So with everything, we go to Amazon. The first thing that you have to do is to go to the Elastic Container Service. Click there, and once you are there, you have to create a cluster. Here you have three options. Uh, as, this, as all of this process of creating uh, of this video, we are going to use the, the free layer of Amazon. So we are going to use EC2 with Linux because it gives us a Titus, a T, Titus Micro. <laughs> virtual machine that it is uh, free. So now we have to name the cluster. Okay. And how in the EC2 instance, we have to select the t 2 micro. So we said one, just one number of instance, and we let the configuration as it is. So now it's creating the, the cluster with the virtual machine. So one thing that we, we have to do to let Amazon the permissions for um, to let Amazon have the permissions to download the Docker image that is in GitLab, we have to go to another service that is called Secret Manager. So here we continue. Here, basically, we save some credentials, some credentials that we can uh, use later when we need it. So for this form, what we have to choose is other type of secrets. Then we just type username. That is the Gmail of my GitLab. And then I have to uh, write the password. So I pause the video and I will fill the fill uh, the files and I will see you in the next step. Now we have to write at the name of the secret and we are going to use GitLab key uh, slash secret, GitLab key secret. We click on next. And then next again, and that's it. We have to start. And that's it. We have our GitLab um, secret manager password. Now we have to, um, Something else is really important is that 
this secret has a secret RRN, so we are going to save it to in order to use it later. Now we have to create an extension. That we have to to create some roles uh, in I am, in the I am service to let uh, this user to use uh, that secret manager. So we have to go to the policies, create a policies, choose a service, and type secret manager. As I said, this is for, for letting the user use the secret manager. We are just giving them the permissions. So I click on secret manager and I have to type get and get secret value. That's it. Now we have to choose which sources of, sources of, uh, we want to let and we just click on the secret manager and we copy and paste there. And that's it. All the blank files are filled. We create on create policy and first we have to, to, to name the policy. So it will be give a policy just that and we create the policy. That's it. Now we have to, the next step, we have to create a role. So we are going to choose Amazon services. We are looking for lasting container service. And it's right there. So I click next permissions. And here I have to look for two things. One, it's GitLab policy. I have to add that. And then Amazon ECS task execution role policy. So I have to attach both of them. And now we have to click on the next review, uh, give a name for the role. In this case will be ECS task execution role GitLab. That's it. We create the role. So now we have all the configuration that uh, Amazon have to give the permission of downloading the Docker image from our GitLab repository. Remember that it's private. So we have to do this configuration in order to deploy. So we have to go to cluster task definitions. And here we have uh, all the, co uh, in a task definition, we create all the configuration for the Docker image. So here we have to choose again, EC2, because we are doing the Titus micro in order to, to use the free layer of Amazon. So no Fargate because Fargate Everything that uses your your image will be discount of your credit card because it uses uh, it discard every changes that that your that your virtual machine uh, requires. So every source is built. So we click on next and we name the task definition. We give it a name. Then we let us everything and don't forget here is where we have to give ECS task execution role kit love, all the configuration. It is important to be there. So now finally we have to add the container definition. So this will be the, the name of the first of the names of the container. So we are going to give to set it as container deploy ECS. Amazon ECS. And here that is the translation 
of the how to deploy a Docker image from a private rec repository in GitLab registry to the Elastic Container Service. So uh, one thing that I forgot in the before video was that now uh, you have to copy the link of the GitLab uh, registry image in in this file in this file no image. So we start the video with that with the link of the Docker image registry registered in the GitLab registry. <laughs> so we continue. So don't forget that if it comes from GitLab, you always have to type registry.gitlab.com. Now here, uh, what they recommend us is to type 300. And here, this is an important part. This is uh, the ports mapping. You have to put the host port that comes from your, uh, from, from the, will be from the virtual machine. And then you have to to put the container port that comes from the from the container of your your of your image. So I tap 80 because this is the default e port in almost all browsers. So 80 you don't have to type uh, two dots and 80 because it is by default the name of the domain. So we put 82 because that was the, oh no, I forget, sorry. I, I You have to type 3000 because that's, uh, also that, that's in the default um, port when using React, but here in my repository, I just use it 80. So it, it will be the same 80 and 80. If you want to register to deploy an Elastic uh, Docker image that is from a public repository, you just have to copy the, the link of the repository, the, the registry, and that's it. Um, here, as we come from a private registry, we have to type private, re private repository checkbox, and we have to add the RR end that we save it in a, in a notepad. So that's it. That's all the configuration. We click on next. And that's it. The task definition was successfully created. Now we have to, to link it with the, with the cluster because they are not linked. They are just defin defined. So we have to create a service and we have to follow this configuration. Easy to, of course. We have to choose the task definition that we have already created and we have to name that service. In this case will be service deploy is yes. So the number of tasks, you have to type it one and that's it. You have, uh, you can now let it add it is. You click next, next and create a service. Now we have to wait that Amazon links this and upload the the Docker image and deploy it. So we have to to just to to wait for Amazon response. Now we go on clusters, and as you can see, you have one running task and one service. So it means that your task is being deployed. Your Docker image is being deployed. So we are going to, to go for the link in order to see the deploy that. So we click on the cluster, then on the service deploy elastic, we go on task and we click in that ID, no? Click on the ID and you open and that's the external link. Now we click and you 
we'll see that the Docker image of React is already deployed. Thank you so much.